Whoa, bro, what happened? Bro, you've been in a 10-year coma. Last thing I remember was at the 2014 World Cup and we just finished bottom of the group. No! That did indeed happen. Well, anyways, tell me about what's happened in the last 10 years. And first of all, in the 2014 World Cup, you finished bottom of the group with one point. And then in the 2018 World Cup, you went out in the semi-finals to Croatia. And then... In the 2022 World Cup, you went out in the quarterfinals to France. Well, tell me about what happened in the Euros. Did we win any of the Euros since then? Well, in the 2016 Euros, you got knocked out by Iceland in the round of 16. Two, one was the score. But then, in the 2020 Euros, you, end, you ended up beating Germany 2-0. Yeah, insane. But and then you you won the semi finals two one against Denmark. You were in the Euro final. And then yeah, you played against Italy in the final. Second minute, you took an early lead. And then in the and then in like around the sixtieth minute, they equalised. And then it went to extra time. Nothing happened in extra time, so it went to penalties to decide the Euros. And then, England lost 3-2 on pens. Bro, don't go back to your coma just yet. Because i got to tell you about the 2024 Euros. So, in the 2024 Euro, you, managed, you topped the group with Serbia, Denmark, and uh, I think it was also, like, Slovakia. can't remember really, but I think it was Slovakia. The round of 16... You faced Slovenia, and then in the ninety fifth minute, you were one 0 down. You were literally about to go out of the Euros. Wait, don't go back to your coma. Just if you were about to. Um, the, Jude Bellingham, you won't you won't know him because he would have been about like eleven years old in twenty fourteen. Um, he equalised for England in the last minute. Went to extra time, and then in the first 50 seconds of extra time, Harry Kane put us in front. And I remember watching the game, and it stunned me. So moving on to the quarterfinals, you faced Switzerland. You were 1 0 down, 8th minute. In fact, 5 minutes before Switzerland took the lead, you were awful. You were playing awful. But then Saka, uh, you won't know him, he would have been probably like 14, 13. Result in 2014. He scored the equaliser from outside the box in the finesse shot that came in off the post. That got us level. So it went to, went to extra time, nothing happened. Penalties. We England won by three on pens. On to the semi finals. So you place Netherlands, but don't write yourself off just yet. Netherlands took the lead in the seventh minute, Javi Simmons. He would have been like 15 years in 2014. Uh, so yeah, he gave Netherlands the lead. And then just nine minutes later, or no, like 12, 11 minutes later, you won a penalty and Harry Kane scored it. Yeah, Harry Kane, uh, he'd probably be like, like 19 years old back then, so. Uh, and, I mean, 19 years old in 2014, obviously, so. In, the, in, in, and then, all the way up at the end, 90, 90th minute, a, a kid called Ollie Watkins, well, he would have been a kid back when the last time you were awake, but he is a quite a good striker. He came on, he scored the winner. We were going back to back Euro finals. You faced Spain in the final. And first of all, half, the first half, no goals. You, just, you kept the clean sheet first half. Two minutes after the second half started, Nico Williams gave Spain the lead. Well, don't write yourself off, mate. England got an equaliser in the 70th, around like the 70th minute. A kid called Cole Palmer scored a goal for us. Cole Palmer, he's one of the best in the world. Well, he scored four goals against Bright. Yeah, Bright are in the Premier League now, but anyways. But then, 
in the 86th minute, Spain scored. It was 2 1 by someone called Mikael as Oyazamo. And then the full time whistle went. You lost 2 1. Well, bro's back in his coma. Anyways, you guys watching, make sure to subscribe if you want England to win a trophy one day. See ya.